everyone, I'm Beth and I'm so excited to have you here with me today for my makeup empties. I have basically a closet full of empties. I have not done an empties video in a long time and they just tend to mount up. It is unbelievable. And the thing I absolutely love about empties videos is that you really get to see what the YouTuber truly uses to the point that they that they get rid of it and they purchase more. So in this video, you will see my absolute favorite daily makeup products that I use and enjoy. I can hardly wait to share them with you. But first, I did want to show you my outfit that I'm wearing today and all my jewelry. All of the jewelry is from Amazon, as is this wonderful cable knit sweater. I really like this, love the color. Also, my favorite Amazon jeggings are, are all listed below the video. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I hope you'll consider subscribing and or giving this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's get into this. These are my favorite makeup items, the ones that I've used up and thrown away. The first is actually a perfume, and this is the Jo Malone Wild Bluebell Cologne, and I absolutely love this. It is a bit pricey, but if you love a floral scent, a classic floral scent, in fact, I think one of the royal girls, in fact, I'm sure of it, she used this as her signature cologne during her wedding. I absolutely love this. It's a little pricey, but I think it's worth it. Okay, the next empties that I have are eye primers, eyeshadow primers. The first is the Milani eyeshadow primer. Everyone knows about this, and I do like this. However, I really seem to prefer the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion original, or they also have an anti-aging. I don't think it's any different, but I like it too, and I really kind of like this one better because it has a doe foot, and it puts a nice kind of a, kind of a light tan color, a creamy color on your eyelids. This one has a bit of a color, but this one really has a good color, which is a great base for your eyeshadow, and it is matte, so it is not shimmery or anything like that. Okay, the next empties that I have, and I happen to have two of them here, my favorite foundation ever in terms of drugstore, I would say, although I'm getting some more favorites. It's amazing how many great products I'm discovering here on YouTube. But this is a product that I've used for probably five years. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup, and I wear it in the color 40 Nude, and I've gone through two of them there. I use this all of the time on a daily basis when I don't really care. Well, I care how I look, for sure, on a daily basis, but when I don't want to use a foundation that costs a fortune, I use this Healthy Skin Foundation by Neutrogena, and I think it is absolutely beautiful. It is not what I have on today. I have the Christian Dior Backstage Foundation, which I really love, but to me, this looks just the same. Okay, this one is not really makeup, but I must have had 20 of these empty bottles in there, so I decided to throw this in here so I can get rid of them. These are the Lumify Drops, and every morning I put one drop in each eye, and I give my, I, I do that, and then I go ahead and brush my teeth, which takes two and a half minutes with my Sonicare, and then I go ahead and put in my contacts. You can't just go right to contacts from this. I did it once, and it caused one of my contacts to kind of break apart, which wasn't good. But basically, this gives you very nice whites of your eyes, and as I've gotten older, I call my eyes red snake eyes for the most part. It's about noon here. I hope they're still looking white. I don't know, but I do love the Lumify. Okay, the next product I have is a brow product, and I have been using this and loving it for probably three months after many, many months, probably several years of not finding a good brow product. This is very inexpensive. This is the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in the color, what is it? It is in the color blonde. And if you are a blonde, you know how hard it is to find a color that really does work, that's not too dark or too light or too orange. And I absolutely love this Revlon Color Stay Eyebrow Pencil in the color blonde. And I will tell you, I grabbed some out of there. I grabbed oh, lots of different brow pencils that I didn't love. And this isn't even all of them, but these are the ones that I, that I actually went through all the way that became empties. This is the Maybelline Brow Extensions, did not like it. This is the Anastasia Expensive Brow Wiz in Blonde, didn't like it. Um, it doesn't really cover up the grays. It's a little tiny kind of a thing. The next one is the Pure Brow Pencil. Cute little thing there, nice little brush on there, but I did not like that. And here is another Brow Wiz, oh, Benefit Brow Wiz product, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in Blonde, didn't like that one either. And this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio and of course, Blonde. And all of these, actually, I don't even know that I use them all, but they did go to the trash. 
Okay, the brow pencil is great to make your brows the right color and fill in any holes. Although with the carnivore diet, my, my tails are totally filled in. My brows are so bushy, it is really unbelievable. But they do get unruly, kind of like Groucho Marks, and they'll be all out of place, all askew. So I love this NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. I've used more expensive ones, but this is maybe six bucks and it really does keep your brows in place. It doesn't add any color. It's just like a great hairspray for your brows. Now I do have quite a few mascaras that I do love, but this is still my all time favorite. I get away from it sometimes because it's been my favorite for like three years and I feel like I need to try others for you. And so mostly I've been using others and I do have some really good ones that I like, but this is still my all time favorite. And I made a mistake the last time I reordered this is that I still had another tube left and I put in the new tube with that and then I didn't know which tube was the new tube. So don't do that. Once you get a new tube in, throw the old one away. And this is a brand new tube that just came in a couple of days ago and I did throw the other one away and you're asking me, Beth, what is it? It is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash and it really does have the look of kind of lash extensions. I think it makes my eyelashes look longer and curled and darker. Really do love the Stila Huge Lash. Now, here's another mascara that I really love, but for some reason it can't replace the Stila for me. But this is a tubing mascara and this is the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions and it is a lovely mascara. It truly is. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but this one is a good one too. If you like a good tubing mascara, it's probably the best one I've found. Now, I really love this product and this is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder and I use it right underneath my eyes to kind of set my concealer. And here you can see there's still plenty of it there. One problem with this is it's probably only three or four dollars and it broke. And so instead of just fighting it every day, I did throw this one out, but I did replace it because in terms of a brightening banana powder, I think this is as good as like the Charlotte Tilbury brightening powder. I really do love this. Okay, in terms of an eyeliner, I have an absolute definite favorite and there were probably even more of these in the stash. You wouldn't believe how many empties I have in there. But this is the Pure On Point Eyeliner in the color Down to Earth is the one I use most of. I really like this. This is a brown, but they also have kind of a grayed out brown, which is kind of hard to find, but I do like this one too. It is in the color Not Sorry, whatever that is. And then I had a purple one, which I really loved. And then when I was looking through my empties, I found a navy one that still had some in there. And if you have brown eyes, I really think a navy eyeliner can really make your eyes pop, make your eye whites look whiter. In fact, it doesn't matter what eye color you have. A navy eyeliner can sometimes be a lot of fun, so I'm going to keep that and use that. But all of these are empties and I love this eyeliner because it has a self-sharpening point. You just turn the little thing, there's a little arrow on it, you turn it and it gives you an absolutely perfect point. And I will give you a tip and hopefully you do this but whenever you use an eyeliner, there is usually a line of flesh colored eyelash, not eyelash, flesh colored skin underneath your eyelashes. And that just looks kind of weird. And it really helps your eyelashes look thicker to finish using your eyeliner and then use it to go in that waterline to color in that flesh colored line there because then it makes it look like your eyelashes are much thicker. And as we get older, I think the under eye area is an area that needs a little bit more attention, that needs something to brighten it and to get rid of the dark circle look, get rid of the under eye vein look, that kind of thing. And this is the Pixie by Petra Peach Corrector, I think it's called. And this one is a year old and it's definitely bottom of the barrel there. I used this and loved it and I went ahead and bought another one. I think it's only $12 or $13 and I use this as a brightener in the dark black areas. They are black right here beside my nose on either side of my nose and then I use it here. I apply it with my concealer brush and it just gets rid of that dark look. It conceals any veins and it just brightens up that area. Absolutely love that. Now, if you're like me and in the under eye area or any place on your face, you have a discolored vein, a dark vein. I have one, I think it's under here, that is very hard to cover most days. And I don't use this every single day, but any place that you have something that you wanna cover, if you have a brown spot or a big scar, something like that, 
I have used this for years since well before I came to YouTube. I've probably used this for 20 years. This is the double, this is the Derma Blend Concealer Stick in the color light is what I use. And that one is bottom of the barrel there. I guess I could dig out more, but I went ahead and ordered another one. And these last me maybe a year, year and a half. Absolutely love this Derma Blend Concealer Stick. It conceals anything you want to hide. Okay, before we get into lips, I did want to show you my favorite powder ever. I love this stuff. I'm sure you've seen it on my channel. I think I even did a dedicated video about this because this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, and I wear it in the color 2 medium, which is really kind of a translucent color. But there it is, as you can see. Ugh. I, I hit the bottom of the barrel there, and there's a little bit left, but I want to shut that thing up because it gets everywhere. This powder is truly, it does what it says it does. It is an airbrush look to your face. It gives you that flawless finish. You've seen me in videos, like at the beginning of a video that's not even about this. I'll take this powder and you'll see my under eye circles and I'll just dab a little of this on a powder brush and put it in areas where I need to reduce the wrinkles. And it really does give me an airbrushed, gorgeous finish. This is like $45. It is not cheap. However, if you don't break it like I did at the end, it'll last you about a year. I carry this one around in my purse and whenever I just don't have confidence and I look in the mirror and I think, oh, I don't look so good today, I bring out this powder and before you know it, I look great again. Now, before I get into the finale, which is lip products, I wanted to show you one big fail just so I can throw this away. I hate this stuff. This was a brow lift kit, Ariana New York Brow Lift Pro Series Kit. And this gives you the laminated brows like they do at the salon. And I will link a video below about it, or maybe here or here. And I used this, and I looked like Spock. I looked so weird and so ugly, and I do not recommend this. I can hardly wait to get that one truly out in the trash. Now, in terms of my brows and lashes, I think the carnivore diet has really been helping. But I have used brow, a brow serum and a lash serum for years. Different ones, though, because they tend to quit working after a while. I used to use the Rapid Brow and also the Rapid Lash, and they worked for a while, and then they quit working. I used the Lash MD. I used Grand Lash, but I always go back to this one, and it is an expensive product, but it is truly great. I think these are between $50 and $100, depending upon how long a usage you get out of them. They have anywhere from three months to up to six months of usage. But this is the Revitalash Advanced Eyelash Conditioner, and I really think it gives me long, thick-looking lashes. Absolutely love this. And this is the Revita Brow from Revitalash. This is the brow conditioner, and my brows have really, really gotten thick. And I don't really have anything on it to make the tails look longer. That is real hair I have. I do think this did 90% of the job, but I do think the carnivore took it across the finish line and really filled in my brows totally. Love the two together, actually. Okay, now let's get into the lip products, which is kind of the finale. And first I'll show you an absolutely wonderful lip pencil. And this is the Milani, what is it? Understatement Lip Liner, which it really is. It blends in beautifully. And this is in the color 110 Nude Entrance. Love this one. But I have been experimenting with a lot of different lip pencils lately. This is one of my favorites, though, I have to admit. It goes with just about any lipstick. Now, my go-to lipsticks for just daily use, this is one of them that I bought probably three or four times. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Shine in the color 904 Varnished Rosewood, which is kind of a pinky rose. You can't really see that very well. It's what I have on right now, and it is a wonderful daily lip color. And I think it's kind of a universal color, and most people could get away with using this. Plus, I absolutely love the little crystal look tube that it's in, and it is like seven, eight dollars. It's drugstore price for sure. Now, if you want something a little more nude looking and a little less rose, another great color in the Colorish Lip Shine is Glossy Fawn, 900 Glossy Fawn. I may need to rebuy this one again. I do like that. I've, I've dug it out there, but it is an absolutely beautiful, kind of a neutrally nude color, but it isn't that super white 60s Barbie nude, which is not very attractive. It is a very nice universal nude. I really favor the more medium tone nudes. This is a great one. And then if you want to go into some color, this is fantastic. And I have bought this three times. And as you can see, it's pretty much gone. This is the MAC lipstick, and you wouldn't get it. 
I'm going to try to put it, I'll put it on a, on a knuckle here so you can see. But that is that color. Isn't that beautiful? And if you want something that's a little more colorful, but not, not like a red where you'll look like Elvira, I totally recommend this. This is beautiful. I'll go ahead and show you the 900 Glossy Fawn color. I didn't think I, sh I could show it, but if I put it on a bent knuckle, there is a little way to get it out there. That's that second color. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it is a beautiful nude color. Very, very neutral. And then the one that I wear probably the most is the Varnished Rosewood, which is the rosy nude. And I'll put that on the third nickel here. Yuck! So there is that Varnished Rosewood on my ring finger. But all three of those are absolutely beautiful. And I would say if you needed a lipstick wardrobe, these three colors would be fantastic. Okay, thanks so much for following along with me on my makeup empties. These are the products that I use every day and absolutely love. And I have so many empties that I'll be posting another empties video soon on my skincare and hair care products. And I really think I have some of the best hair care products known to man if you want your hair to look very thick and full and healthy. I really love the hair care products that I have come up with and that are filling my closet of empties over there. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I have been actually using this card deck myself personally. I just ordered this and got it maybe a week ago, a little less than a week ago. But this is the Gabrielle Bernstein card deck called Super Attractor. And this has to do a lot with the positive thinking, with the law of attraction. And I am a Christian for sure, but I also believe that it is biblical that what we believe happens usually happens. That having faith is one of the most important things we can do. And unfortunately, our faith can produce energy in our lives either for the positive or the negative. And I will say that lately I had a situation with some girlfriends, and I won't go into the details, but it was extremely hurtful. But I realized that I needed to pick myself up off the ground and realize that usually when someone hurts you, it says more about them than it really says about you. And so what I did was I picked a couple of cards out of the card deck at random and I've been using them. I've been carrying them around with me all day. And in fact, this one, I wondered where it was and it was in my purse. And also what I do is I use this card deck and in the morning, sometimes I'll carry the cards with me all day for when I need a little perk up, I'll go ahead and pull that card out and look at it. Or I also take photos of the cards and there, there is a photo of that card that is actually on my cell phone because I realized that maybe I don't want to carry these around in my purse because it will probably hurt them and make them look kind of grungy over time. But these cards are absolutely phenomenal. And I have realized that the way to use the cards to best advantage is not just to draw a card and talk about it with you, but it is to actively use it throughout my day. And the first card, the one that makes me feel the absolute best when I'm starting to feel down is, I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. And here she is, and she's got a little globe around her heart and little stars and beautiful energy all around her. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. Say it with me. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. You are worthy of feeling good. You're one of God's children and you're worthy of feeling good. I love this. Whenever I start to feel down during the day, I just pull this out or pull it up on my cell phone and remind myself, I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. And then this card is wonderful too. I love this. When I'm tuned into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. When I'm tuned into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. And this is definitely something that is law of attraction. And also it is biblical. When you tune in to the good things in life, Paul said to think on the beautiful, the good things in life. When you do that, I truly believe that more good things come to you. Maybe it's just that you recognize the good things because you're tuned into them. But I truly believe that when you are tuned into the energy of abundance and you feel great about that, your life can become more abundant. So friends, just for today, as we're going through our day, let's all remember that we believe we're worthy of feeling good. And when we're tuned into the energy of abundance, we become abundant too. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.